Hey guys, Brad Duct Tape Hale here with my lovely wife, Maddie. And if you saw yesterday's video, you know we're literally recording this right after yesterday's video. So I hope you all had a lovely St. Patrick's Day. Yes. Uh, we're doing an unboxing from The Legend of the White Dragon. So we joined the Kickstarter campaign for our little project that started back and it was, wait, basically 2019, 2020. Yes. And then it officially got funded, was it later 2020, early 2021? Yes. So it's it's all done. It's all filmed. They're doing all post production right now, uh, and there's talk uh, that it should be doing its full thing this year. We are going to the premiere. That's going to be in LA. So fingers crossed. Uh, they did say it's going to be December, uh, but we also have a friend's wedding that we're supposed to be in, and we're also staffing uh, NotCon, which is I'm just like. Uh, <sighs> uh, yeah, yeah, we're going to the Power Rangers. Oh well, we're going to the wedding no matter what. So Matt likes her going to the wedding. I'm just going to tell, I'm just like, Matt, I love you, but Power Rangers, he's, he'd be like, no, you're good. He, he can, he's got other help. You get, we get it. We get it. So, first off, safety please, because I'm going to be opening this with a knife. Oh yeah, it's one of my new knives. Uh, it's not a switchblade, it's just a really giant one. So, this was the box we got. Ha <laughs> ha, we cut the address, we cut our address off. Yeah, we don't, but, uh, we don't need no one seeing that. I don't know if that box looks even, like, that side not so bad. The tape has seen better days, but we'll see how this goes. We'll find out. Always cut away. Never towards. I love reading the comments. People are like, the way he just waves the knife around is scares us. And I'm like, I was a butcher for seven years. I've handled the knife twice as long. Um... With the motion I'm doing, I used to twirl my knife when I was a meat cutter, and it didn't dawn on me that I was doing it. My boss that taught me how to mess with knives when I was a meat cutter uh, was a martial artist in several forms of kata, so he taught us proper hand. And then, of course, you know, someone's going to comment on here and be like, "Well, that's not the proper way to know. Just I'm just telling you how I got taught to be a meat cutter." He used to be able to twirl a blade around his finger. Like, uh, cool like, guy that I didn't start. Like oh yeah, yeah, it was really oh, cool. Oh, I could no, I could never. I, hey, he's been doing that stuff since. So it's got a nice little release. Push very carefully. Don't ever freehand it. Push, hold the blade, then carefully lock. I've also cut my hands way too much. So, so all right. So, the I Legend of the White well. Dragon. So, I'm assuming this is our poster reward that we got. So, we'll open that in a moment. So, you're going to be seeing doubles. Alright, so we got the Funkos. I know that. Oh, it is just the Funkos and the poster tube. I thought we were supposed to get two, but oh well. No, it was, cats, just, it, was just, with, it was just one. Play with your new towel, cats. Oh no, it's raining paper. I'm going to scare the cat a little bit. Oh no, we need to open the knife again. Oh, me, oh my. I'll open it again. <laughs> that does look cool, I'm not gonna lie. We did agree before this, how I went through, that I got the Funko. There are some other things that Maddie gets, but the Funko's mine. Also, uh, for those that watch me for Power Ranger stuff, we did get confirmation from Wild Ranger 5, a commission that we did. Nine to ten months ago, of uh, my full size Legend of the White Dragon helmet that he's making, we we paid, we commissioned him. Uh, fucking Iki. Uh because everyone's all like, because if you did like, I think it was what the twenty five hundred dollar package, you got a Legend of the White Dragon helmet. Yes. Which surprise, surprise, Iniki actually makes the helmets once JDF tells him to make it. Everyone else is like, man, where's my order from six years ago? And Iniki can't give three shits. But this isn't a bash Iniki thing. But I supported Wild Ranger 5. He's a good crafter. Go help him out. Go support him. He's really good at what he does. I think he does a combination of Kamen Rider and Sentai and Mighty Morphin. I mean, as long as you I can... say Mighty Morphin as in U.S. Sentai, so... But if you have a 3D file, he'll do it. Oh, yeah. So it is... I've already started seeing some of these circulating on a couple of the Power Rangers buy, sell, resell pages. It is a legend of the White Dragon with Eric Reed. So let's... Oh, no. I'm taking it out of the box. NRFB! NRFB! Well, I'm taking it out so they can see. This is not um, a Funko release. This is a private thing I think JDF did. To me, that looks 
That looks cool. Fucking cool. And this feels like this is just slightly smaller than a normal size Funko. Yeah, just a tiny little bit. Do you bit. have a regular Funko that's out of box you can compare to that? Uh, no. In your office. Let me, give me a sec. Okay. So, while Maddie is going through with that, we're going to show you the art that's around inside the box. So, all right, here we go. So, this is what it says on the one side. After three long years of forced hiding, Eric Reed has returned to reclaim his powers as the White Dragon. His goal is simple, clear his name and be reunited with his family. Only one thing stands in his way, Dragon Prime, who will stop at nothing to destroy the White Dragon. I love the fact that this is prime example that if enough nerds and enough fans get together, they can literally write their fan fiction, because this is just adult Power Rangers written by JDF himself. He's the main writer, the main concept behind it. Everyone's just like, oh, it's kind of cliche, it's all this here. It's just, oh, white dragon, well, oh, green dragon. Uh, it, it's just, it's Power Ranger Easter eggs. And I, I fucking love that. I mean, yeah, I know it's a shameless grab, but I fucking love it. But here is the, the art he had for this done was actually really good. And there's like the shot of him and Dragon Prime on the back. All right, so do you have one? I don't have any uh, out of box. Okay. Um, all, everything's in box. Well, then we're not taking one of those out. So this is going to go back in. You guys saw the only time it's probably going to come out. Unless, um, actually JDF is going to be at uh, Indiana Comic Con. So uh, we might take some of this stuff to that. If I get my helmet, well, I don't think I'll have my helmet by then. I don't think I'll get my helmet until the summer. Um, but yeah, my helmet is, I think, being painted right now is the whole point of what I was going at. Oh, no, there's stuff in the mess. Uh, but yeah, we're looking forward to going to the premiere of this, and uh, it's gonna be so much fun. Yes. Here you go. Here you go. Oh no, it's in the box. It's ruined the value. I got a fucking Power Ranger costume in the next room. Oh no, I dropped a forty dollar uh, pop. People think I'm kidding when I say that I'm not. <laughs> Dumbest fucking luck how I got it, but uh, I've got one nonetheless. All right, so one of the next rewards we got from it, because we've already got... The shirt. We got the shirt. Oh, that was right. Maddie got the shirt. I got the phone call. Hey, can you put that in the trash? Yeah. Oh, you know they packed this hard. <laughs> That's what your mom said. <laughs> this should be the cast signed poster. I already we did the nice reward, so we got the full cast. Can you like help? Oh, yeah, thank you. All right, very carefully hold down the bottoms. All right, grab one side. This is. Hey, we're gonna scoot back, Minnie. Like, <laughs> scoot the chair back. I'm trying. All right, keep it taut. Pull it down a little bit. So I'm trying to show. All right, yep. Maybe you gotta hold both. Never mind. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my wife has had a drink or two, and she is not following simple instruction tonight. It's all right. It's not the first time. So that was the cool poster on there. That's going in my office. Damn well it's going in my office. Let's face it. I'm the original Power Ranger nerd of this thing. Oh my god, I got a lightsaber too. Lightsaber? Whoa. Wait, wait, wait. All right. You get to fight with that. I get to fight with this. That's not fair. All right. I get to fight with both of them. Is that That's fair? still not fair. I don't even think it'd be fair if I handed you this. Archer! Mother, it's on the table. It thinks it's people. <laughs> God, my grandmother-in-law. I need to make that reference to her more often. And look, look how much of a Power Rangers nerd I am. You little koozie. We got a Power Rangers blind grab bag. It's for like the 20th anniversary. And it's got the Boom Comics art all around it. So you think, oh, it's going to have, like, Boom Comics stuff in there. Because I do like reading the Boom Comics uh, Power Rangers as though it took place in this timeline. I like it. Yeah. I think it's good. Uh, the fact that there's a Green Ranger and a White Ranger existing at the same time is a little weird. But I like it. And I especially like how they write Bulk and Skull. Um, I, I like how they really play on the fact that Kimberly's no longer the Valley Girl, but she's kind of the spoiled rich kid. And just some of the other character arcs. 
Uh, especially, they, they flesh out like Rita and Zed a lot more. Oh, yeah. Zordon and Alpha have so much more backstory and they loop it around. I, and I get it, it's not Sentai. But I like how they show the origins of the Green Ranger's powers, especially for the fact that it's Rita's mother. The shield or her garment is what's thrown onto the Green Ranger. And that imposes the clarity of mind and the good and whatnot in there. It's the strength. Um, but yeah, that's always kind of cool. But no, this is, I, I feel like we got an awesome haul here. Uh, it's in increments. And I think we still get, uh, once it's done, we get a digital copy. We get photos from set. I think an MP3. We get the soundtrack. We get a physical copy of the script. Really? Yeah. Because we were uh, we were the thousand here. So, okay. yeah, we spent a thousand dollars. She and I put 500 in each. To go to the premiere with a bunch of old school Power Ranger actors, oh, hell yeah, I'll put a thousand dollars down myself. Uh, I think a lot of people watching this would be like, you mean I get to go to a movie premiere? I don't care what I'm watching. I get to go to a movie premiere with most of the OG, like, best of Rangers. Yeah. yeah. Where do I sign? And we've gone to a couple of the Power Ranger events where we run across some other people that support a Legend of the White Dragon. We're looking forward to seeing you guys there because you guys are fun yes. to talk to while we're out there. Um, there's a couple events coming up because, like, Indiana Comic Con's coming up. And uh, Steve Cardenas, uh, Karen Ashley, and Jason David Frank, I believe, all three are going to be there. And I have a Red Ranger uh, 3D print kit coming in here because, like, fuck am I paying $500 <laughs> For an overpriced Toys R Us a sword toy. that everyone's talking on there, even though the Hasbro is going to release one later this year, and I'm just going to buy one of those, and I'm going to have a nice 3D printed one. Uh, my painting skills have gotten a hell of a lot better from my past videos. Uh, I need to do one once my Rick O'Connell's fully done. But I, I know we're here talking about Legend of the White Dragon, <laughs> but we we got on other Power Rangers conversations. You like Legend of the White Dragon, you like Power Rangers. But uh, I'm gonna ha I'm gonna have like a really cool uh, Red Ranger sword. I'm gonna have Cardinia sign, and if it's not done. I'm at least taking, yes, uh, while I will not openly commission Aniki, I have come across secondhand a couple Aniki helmets in my Red Ranger uh, or a Red Dino Zyra Ranger helmet uh, is an Aniki helmet. And it, it's his, he's an amazing craftsman. He's just asshole of customer service. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I told you never to buy from him. You're the one who wasted two years fighting the credit card charge. Mm -hmm. I told my wife when we were dating... When we were dating like four or five years ago, she's like, I want a pink ranger. I'm like, I can help you get a pink ranger costume. And you know what she does? She blindly goes and buys an Aniki one or pays the money. How much did you pay for it? What, 400 bucks? Yeah, 400. 400 bucks. It took 19 months to get a response. And by then, we'd already had a credit card uh, recharge at like 17. So if you can buy one secondhand, go, go for it. it. Don't, don't waste the other commission. You might be lucky. I've had so many people message me on here about an Aniki, and I'm going to tell you guys the easiest way i found to get an Aniki helmet. If he ever gets a canceled order of anything he finishes, you might not think it happens. It does, actually, every once in a while. You're not going to get to pick what it is. It's a random chance, but he puts those on his Etsy, and because Etsy's exact rules, he's not allowed to post anything he can't physically have to sell. So you can run the chance that you can get an official Aniki helmet that way, and sometimes they're... 300 to sit on, and there was a couple that were just sitting there that were going for 300, so that's not bad. That's the only way I can see them. I haven't seen them second uh, hand on Facebook Marketplace uh, because I, I read you guys' comments, so I try and help uh, help you guys find where you can when you can. So that's all we got for right now. Thank you guys so much for tuning on. Oh, I love that poster. That poster looks amazing. It's beautiful. Well, they were smart and they wrapped it in a it's... paper that the cats walked off with. Never mind. No, I pitched it. I pitched it. Oh. Did you make sure there's nothing else in it? No, nothing. Okay. I mean... That's... Oh, uh, no, no. I'm just saying, when I opened my Rick O'Connell kit last week, I thought I had everything cleared out. I go to crumple the paper, and it's 3D printed, so <laughs> if you put too much torque on something, you hear snappy. Because I have a knock display that I have never quite fully finished, because I... It's long story on that one, but uh, when you... One of the wedding gifts my wife did for me, or what I wanted for a certain project, was a 3D printed um, Sword of the Father that knocked his display from Final Fantasy XV. It's one of my favorite Final Fantasy games. And we found someone that's going to commission it, and the set price, and then she goes, how tall are you, Brad? And I'm thinking, oh, so he knows at what proportion to put the blade to my body. Nope. She didn't specify that when she emailed the person. 
So I got a six foot tall Noctis blade that's supposed to be three and a half feet tall. You know what? I'm just gonna show. This is why you get <laughs> measurements correctly, people. It is cool, not gonna lie. Oh, don't get me wrong. It's fucking massive. This sword is only supposed to be this tall. I love my wife, but also this thing is massive and there's some points on it that are like really like fragile and thin. So this is just meant, these were supposed to be props for us to pose with for wedding photos because our wedding was Final Fantasy themed. It's okay. We did something else. Yes. We had really cool acrylic stands. Yeah, yeah, we had really cool, we had actual Japanese acrylic stands. But guys, that's all we got for right now. Thanks for tuning on in. Uh, if you want more Power Ranger content, it's going to be coming this way, guys. We're going to be trying to get in the Ninjetti sets when they come on out. <sighs> Probably more con videos coming soon. Uh, definitely Airsoft, because we're going to be Airsoft. Actually, when you're seeing this video, we're going to be Airsofting the next day. Uh, there'll be some fun stuff from that. And, uh, yeah, just more dumb content that'll make you guys laugh and subscribe. So remember, like always, if you like duct tape, stick to it.